Hello! Ooh, this guy's got some stuff. Hey, I'm Mike. Hey, Mike John. This is Jersey hey, John. Hey, I'm John. Hey, John. Nice hey, to meet you. Good name. Oh, there you see, you got a hex tube here. Looks like you got a lot of stuff that's on that list. When you first walk into this place, it's like the back room of a Cabela's. He's got furniture, taxidermy, he's got bicycles, he's got all kinds of weird stuff in there. This is like going to be a really good pick. So what's going on? This looks like expensive real estate to store your collection. It is. That's why we're selling. Okay. I'm yeah. glad to see you. I've always been a seller. I buy with value in mind, and I've learned how to value everything from artifacts to real estate. Danny said you own the whole mall. We do. I'm now wanting to clear out this space because I have actually national tenants that are looking at this space. And uh, I've got a lot of what I consider nice things in here, but they're nothing I can take with me. It's just more material things. Let's take so, a look around. So you're, wait, well, I mean, look at this bike, man. I know, I saw the hex tube. It's I beautiful. know. This is like 47, 48. Well, that's an aluminum, isn't it? It's, the it's, yes. is aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. And then if you look at the lug work on it, that's cast aluminum. Yep, cast. In 1934, Monarch Silver King advertised that they had an aluminum alloy bike that was three times stronger and way lighter than steel, which meant a faster bicycle. Try picking it up, Jersey. It's not like an aluminum bike today. No, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. The gauge of the aluminum and everything is different. This is the same material that airplanes were being made out of, trains were being made out of. It was a beautiful time in American design, the 1930s and 40s. That's a, that's a hard bike to find. Yeah. I mean, everything on you don't this, ever see them. chrome wise, needs to be redone. These fenders, it came chrome, the chain guard was chrome. Got the rear light? That's upside down. So if somebody's pulled it apart, though. Maybe somebody's put this. It's got a three-speed rear hub, Mike. Yeah, Sturmy Archer. Yeah, it's got swing wheels. It looks like a barn find. Do you remember where you got it? It was a barn find. I've not had that bike forever. I probably had it three or four years. The guy that found it brought it to me. I didn't okay. actually find it. it, was, it was it found locally? Yes. It's incredible to me that a bike like this was sitting in a barn three years ago. Is this something you'd consider selling? Oh, uh, let me think about it, Mike. No, it's. I tell you what, it's a rare bike. My interest uh, pretty wide and, and over a long period of time. When I was about 18 years old, uh, I decided I, I really wanted a motorcycle and I really got into that in a big way. I like books, I like to read, I do hunting and I do fishing. I've also liked cars for a long time, still do. Come on, I saw this clock over here. I want to show you this. The watch repairing clock, which is interesting. There should be a switch over yeah. there. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. we got. Wow. We got some neon going. Yeah, we got so it's got the outer ring in neon. It's an advertising clock for a watchmaker. The can's nice. Neon works, clock works. It's a really nice piece. It's got the tin back. What are you thinking on something like this? Probably around seven hundred dollars. Wow. Um Do you think more? I think it's worth more than double than what that is. I I'll give you 1500 bucks for the clock. I'm never opposed to going in. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, it's a, it's a nice piece. Nice graphics on the clock with the blue numerals and the dial. Right, yes. You I, got that for for, uh, for cheap money then. Well, I picked, I picked it up and I just like the subject matter with the watch repair. Yeah. And no, uh, I've actually had some people just want this so bad, but they won't pay for it. Well, I'm on it for 1500 bucks. You got it. Everything's in great shape of this thing. This is a really fantastic piece. All right. Whew. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.